Hello and welcome to the first part of our LifeFX hands-on tutorial series. These videos will help you getting started with LifeFX. Whether you're working from a small home studio or on a big virtual production stage, what you'll see here is 100% hands-on. So let's get started. In this video we will show you how to capture a live camera signal, do a quick composite and record everything to file for instant review. We'll begin with the login screen in LifeFX. Let's first create a new project. Simply give it a name and hit create. The other settings we'll leave at their defaults for now, close the project settings again and take a look at our video I.O. settings which we need to set up correctly in order to capture a camera signal and play it out again. In the upper left corner all available devices are listed. Next to the USB webcams and NDI, LifeFX also supports video I.O. from AJA and Blackmagic. Select the device you want to use and make sure it's enabled here on the right. Set the resolution, frame rate and color matrix settings and make sure to enable at least one input and one output channel. Now let's enter into the project. If you have not only LifeVix but also a Simulate Scratch licensed, you can switch between various toolsets using the wrench icon here. The LifeVix toolset has two tabs, Construct and LifeVix. In the construct you organize your various source clips and prepare elements that you want to use in your live composition. The live fix tab is where all compositing takes place. We will look at it in a second. Let's first click onto the live setup button that is flashing in blue here. This will open a new dialog to create a new live composition. For this video we'll leave it at basic capture and select our main video input which is an SDI channel from our decklink card. Since our live composite does not have a defined length, we'll tell LifeFX that this is a continuous shot and click on create. And with that, we jump into the LifeFX tab. The main menu here gives us access to various features such as camera tracking options or DMX control which we'll cover in later videos. Through the other menus on the left, we have access to the full set of color grading features that are also included with the Simulate Scratch for dailies and finishing. Various scopes such as waveform and histogram can be displayed for accurate control and the entire UI layout can be easily adjusted to our liking. Same as the panel mapping for actual grading and compositing, LifeFX supports all grading panels from Tangent and Avid. Let's crush the blacks a little and adjust the saturation to make the bottle pop a little more. Ok, now that we have that we would like to push things a little further and mix in some offline stock footage. For this we can just right click and choose fetch to grab something from the construct tab or import to grab something directly from disk. The selected clip is now attached to our cursor and we can simply drop it right into the viewport. LifeFX automatically creates a layer with this shot on it. So right now this is simply one video above another. If we switch to the fill tab at the top of the layer stack we can change the blend mode and also adjust the opacity of this layer. Let's also adjust the shape so the fog covers the whole frame. Of course any element in the layer stack can also be color graded separately. So let's add some tint to our fog and a bit of contrast. Now that our DOP is happy with the results we can shoot a take and record the live composition in LifeFX. Right now we're just recording the baked composite but LifeFX also allows to capture individual sources which we'll show you in a later video along with all other recording options. It's important to know that LifeFX stays interactive even whilst recording the live composite to file. You can for instance create another layer and use the canvas softness and grading tools to form a vignette. And before you know it you can simulate a fake spotlight by moving the canvas around in the frame by hand. This will of course also be recorded in the ProRes clip that we're recording right now. Once we stop recording, the recorded clip is added to the version stack and ready for instant replay. Simply click on it in order to review. Note that this will also be played out via SDI if you have one or more output channels configured, so your DOP and director can have a look as well on their dedicated monitors. This concludes our first tutorial on how to get a live camera signal into LifeFX, do a quick composite and record everything. In the next video we'll look at how to replace a green screen with a virtual background. See you there.